It might look like the offspring of a smartphone and hip flask, but the Echobox Explorer is actually a high-res music player, kind of an iPod for audiophiles. If you've got the ears for hi-fi audio, it gives you much better sound than most smartphones can. Unfortunately, you have to put up with so much hassle in exchange that only true music mavens might find it worth it. I'm Michael Fisher, and this is the Mr. Mobile Review. I want to start by saying that this hardware is so cool. This is no plastic veneer. This is a real block of rich, Ron Burgundy mahogany. You can protect it with the leatherette case that comes in the box, but who wants to cover this up? Plus, I'm not exactly worried about durability given the stainless steel end caps. Why is it shaped like a flask? Well, to stand out from other digital audio players, which tend to be angular, shiny metal or pieces of the yellow brick road. Anyway, what would be the screw top on the flask is actually a knurled volume knob with over a hundred steps. Flanking it are a headphone jack and an optical output, while at the bottom we've got a micro USB charging port and micro SD slot. And don't let these cooling ports fool you, there are no speakers on the Explorer. That makes sense because any real music lover will prefer headphones. I tested it with a pair of 99 Classics from Meza and also my Bose QC35s in wired mode. For my thoughts on those headsets, check out the YouTube channel and subscribe if you like what you see. Now, the Explorer does have Bluetooth, but you'll want to stick to the cable to preserve the quality kicked out by the Burr Brown digital to analog converter at the heart of this thing. While there's a lot that goes into making great sound, the DAC is a huge part of it. And based on what I've read, this PCM1792 is highly regarded. As I've said before, I don't quite have the ears to keep up with true acoustic enthusiasts, but I can tell the difference between the Explorer and a high-end smartphone. See, when you're listening to a song on something like the Galaxy Note 8 and you max out the volume, the audio flattens out into a kind of uniform plane. On the Explorer, the music has much more dimension. It's brighter. There's more separation between the instruments and the vocals. On audio forums, I see Explorer owners describing its sound as detailed and clean and just a touch warm, and I'd say that's accurate. It becomes more pronounced when you listen to hi-fi stuff. The Explorer comes with a three-month trial of hi-fi streaming app Tidal. For reasons I'll get to in a second, I didn't use Tidal much. Instead, I downloaded a Death Cab album in FLAC format and threw it onto a micro SD card. At 96 kilohertz, 24-bit, the album took up about a gig. And it sounded wonderful on the default media app. So, okay, the sound is great. But here's the stuff you need to put up with in order to get that sound. First, the reason I stopped using Tidal. The Explorer has the slowest Wi-Fi radio I've ever used. How slow? Well, downloading a test album to the Galaxy Note 8 on Spotify took three minutes. Downloading the same album over the same network at the same time took 38 minutes on the Explorer. Echobox might as well have just left off wireless entirely, which would have solved another problem. If you keep Wi-Fi enabled, you can clearly hear RF interference from the radio through your headphones. And Wi-Fi is apparently a big battery drain as well. With a 4,000 mAh power pack, this thing should last ages. But with only very occasional listening, it was trending toward just about three days of battery life, with the chief power draw coming from the radio. Oh, and my unit also inexplicably rebooted once in the middle of a song, which isn't cool. I'd like to say a software update could fix this stuff, but with a two-year-old Android version and a security patch from July 2016, I'm not holding my breath. Also, there's no Google Play Store, so you need to sideload apps that aren't included out of the box. And while there is a video player, you'd never want to watch anything on this screen. It's just bad. Echo Box didn't immediately respond to a request for comment on this stuff, but if they get back to me, I'll drop their responses down below. Now, the company does have a 30-day return policy, and to its credit, it's been very responsive to customer complaints about defective hardware. But my device isn't defective. Almost all of my issues have been widely reported for the year or so that the Explorer has been shipping. And even when you've got sound like this, it's pretty hard to forgive problems as fundamental as those when your price tag 
is that. For those who want exceptional audio, with the scratch to buy a device like this, and the patience to wrangle it until it works, yeah, the Explorer delivers nuanced sound in a distinctive package. But buyers should be prepared to manage music manually. The wireless side of this thing is just a mess. As for the rest of us poor saps still listening to music on our phones, well, we can take heart that while we are sacrificing some quality, we're also saving ourselves a lot of hassle. This video was brought to you by Thrifter. Thrifter is a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to home goods by shopping based on value and not hype. Check out the latest deals at thrifter.com and tell them Mr. Mobile sent you. Folks, that's going to do it for this one. But before you go, let me know if you think digital audio players still have a place in 2018. And if you bought an Explorer, I'd like to hear your experience. Drop a comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends. Mm -hmm.